to be a great people, Kalel. They wish to be. They only lack the light to show the way. Hey everyone, welcome to the video and welcome to Goodwill. We're going to get in there, see if we can buy low, sell high on eBay and or Poshmark. And we're going to address the uh, video that Kevin Commonwealth Picker did about eBay, uh, no, Goodwill dying a slow death. And he did say in his videos, you know, it's based on his experience where he's at um, and the Goodwills that he visits. So I've been on the opposite side of the country and I don't have the same experience here at Goodwill. And as a matter of fact, I would say that yard sales, garage sales, and estate sales are dying or dead for me. But let's get in there, see what we can find, and let's see what you guys think. We're walking in right off the bat. What are we finding here? Look at that. Okay. Cool stuff out here already. Huh? Cool stuff out here already. Yeah, we did backpack stuff yesterday. Really? Yeah. Any uh, good targets though? No. Uh, we came late yesterday. Or um. It's okay. I heard you. We came late last week. We were here, I think, at one or two. And there was still some Star Wars figures out there in the Target. Yeah, so it was pretty cool. Anything good over there? Anything good in the glass? Should I walk over there? No. Nah. Oh, uh, okay. Oh, mm -hmm. uh, oh, yeah. Those are always hit or miss, but all right. <laughs> yeah. All right. Let's go see what's back there. Is everybody else here? Yeah, I to try. Ah. I had a crack at like 9.30, so I opened it at 9.30. Ah, that's cool. Okay. I will, still? All right. Oh, yeah, I need those. I can always need those. I think Ferris okay. needs one of those. Ooh, ooh. Oh, cool. Look, I found, up there. I found one of the jellyfish up there. And then uh, it says, it says on the bottom, it says Sissy Boy on the pay. It says what? Sissy Boy. I don't know what that means. I don't know. I don't know, Brad. Hey, how's it going? Good, good. You were here. Oh, yeah? How'd it go out there? Decent. It's, decent. It should be getting better with the uh, weather now. Yeah, I was out there. Let's see, Wednesday it rained, so I was there Thursday. Nah, nah, nah. I went Thursday and Friday. It was pretty good. I got some good stuff. I ended up. I mean, it's cool. Thursdays are better. A lot less vendors, huh? Yeah. Yeah, a lot less vendors. Um, Wednesday is a lot less, but yeah. Fridays are cool because it's like dollar days everywhere. Oh, shit. Okay. So, I'm yeah, I'm trying to clear it out for the weekend. Yeah. Oh. Yeah, I'm trying to clear it out for the weekend, so... Uh, they do offload some good stuff. Yeah, I hear you, man. Oh, yeah. man. Look at all those golf clubs. Yeah, dude. You do, uh, you don't do golf clubs. Um, I mean, they have to be like Titleist or yeah, yeah, you know, major brand names and yeah. all. Um, yeah, that's insane. Yep. Any good in here or what? Um, good, know. good, good. It's all kinds of different mm -hmm. shit. I know. Santana headphones? <laughs> Yeah. I, bought, I, bought, I bought some uh, Santana purses that weren't good. Oh, look at this. Oh, the Dragon Ball Z. Dragon Ball Z. You do collectibles like that, right? Hmm. That's pretty cool, though. Interesting. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, 
right. Fresh out the oven. Well, look at that. I'll see what's up. I'm going to try the shelves. Cool. Looks like Christmas in the park. It looks like Christmas in the park. Oh, one more piece. Farah needs a new filter. Farah needs a new filter. Oh. I didn't know if you heard me. Okay, so. What are we finding? We're finding a lot of glass right now. This is that brand of champagne. This is the cozy I. I mentioned a few videos ago to look out for when I bought that big um, duffel bag style. So look out for these. It's about 20 bucks. out of our normal routine right now. I don't typically come this way to the clear side this early in the game. Hmm. Wow, what are we doing? That is hand blown Mexican glass. This appears to be in really great condition. This is going to be... We're going to have to scan this. I mean... It's really nice. Hand-painted. Okay. Okay, I got some good glass over there. That might be the theme of the day, some glass. I don't know if you guys saw in my wife's bag. She had a bunch of paperweights. <laughs> Take what the goodwill gives to us. <clears throat> and that's what I'm talking about, always being a... Everyone calls it just an everything seller, but... Being knowledgeable about every... Every category you possibly can. Nobody can know everything. Okay. But let's get back on track here. Okay. So the initial craziness of the rush to get here, get in, <laughs> it's finally over. We can kind of settle down a little bit. Start running through our progressions. move really quick. You can miss a lot of stuff, especially way in the back. Trinket box. Pencil. Just ceramic pencil. What's down here? What am I looking for? Stanley? 
Is it here? Odds are probably not. Okay. Now, is that a good little yesterday? Mm -hmm. A few, you know, a little bit further away. It's about, it's about a mile from here, and I found some great glass pieces. So, kind of got me hyped for today to see what's here. And so far, it hasn't really disappointed. So, you know, if you see some stuff at one Goodwill, it might be distributed among other Goodwills as well, too. Kind of lacquer boxes, not so you can see there's a billion here. <clears throat> Knife blocks. Look them up. Look them up. You see them, look them up. You never know. That I know is not worth anything. This, these, like, if you find, a lot of people use these for home decor, but if you find, like, iron chains, like heavy-duty iron chains, I would pick those up at a good price. I've had success selling them around 30-ish dollars, or, like, skeleton keys, iron, cast iron. scan this, see if we can get a maker on it. But the subject matter is really good. Sure looks like a... If I had to guess, this looks like a Greenland shark. And Greenland sharks are some of the oldest sharks in the water, the oldest creatures, I should say. Look at this. Here's a pair. Huh. Uh. <laughs> eBay mug. Not have enough eBay merch. Okay, I'm gonna take a break really quick, scan some items, and see what we uh, what we have here. Overtaking it today. Like a laptop. No. What's in here? That's some sort of bouncer.
We're out of there. <laughs> so I'm trying to go back around over here. I should take a look here really quick. Music's loud. Music's, sometimes it's nice to have the high ground here, but spot paint. That's actually kind of cool. Could. Just don't fall over. <laughs> hmm. Nope, not seeing anything. Let's move around this way. There's a cutoff here. Yeah. Not, a, not a good brand. <clears throat> Ooh. Yeah, I know. I need to figure out what I want to get Taiwan. That's nice. It's what? It's from Taiwan. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, uh, I got the cart right there. <laughs> this will pick up. No, bring it to me. Let me on the bag. <clears throat> Look at it. Holy moly. Oh. Careful, because the glass orbs are on the bottom. Okay. Oh. It's 49ers. Ooh. <clears throat> How much is it, though? It's only $4. It's not bad. Okay, let's see what we got here. What's this cozy mountain? Oh, it's for me. Oh, yeah. I'm decided on my I'm probably not going to get it. What is this? I looked that up. What is it? Leather photo album. Ooh. Command strips, I'm assuming for us. Yep. This guy, I'm assuming. I'm going to look it up. Okay. Yeah. That's for me. Okay, here are these guys. Wow. wow. What is that? Yeah. Harry Potter? Here, grab that. I'll put that in the cart. No, I can't there's no one. Oh. Is that one? It's Fantastic Beast. Oh, I mean, it could be, yeah. You know? It's kind of cool. It's got a shelf thing on the end, so. Probably. I'll look it up. Seven dollars. I can still carry these. Do you still carry those? Are you sure? Too much with that. You gonna put this in the bottom? Are you getting those? I'm still looking. Okay, let me put this guy on the bottom here. Kind of just prevent it. <clears throat> That's pretty cool. Dang. That's neat. Dang! That looks nice. This is the uh, it looks like Millie. A yeah, it's the Millie Flores. Yeah. Jeez, it's a nice collection someone had. Okay. I want you to look at that photo album. Yeah. This is my <clears throat> I thought you said it was good. I can carry that. It is, but I know you're not. <clears throat> Mm. I don't know. Well, I was gonna look at those. You Should we get this lantern? Did you get both of those? Both. Of, oh yeah. Oh definitely. Where's the other one? It's under over there. Oh, you know, I what saw it it. I like, mm. you know what it is? I was like. You know what it is? New York Stock Exchange. Are bull and bear. Serious? Yeah. I picked up the bull and I was like, oh, these are heavy. But then I was looking through. I was like, you're too far. Yeah. The bull and bear market. The the rare ones. The really rare ones actually I think have New York Stock Exchange written on it. I don't think these, I, don't, I didn't really look at the other one, I just grabbed them. <clears throat> so what is this? Mexican picture. I looked it up. It's, the whole set, so like 125. Huh? Yeah, that's not, that's not a big deal. <clears throat> I like this. Is it a calculator? No, it's a, something like your Star Trek IQ kind of thing. 
<clears throat> Do you think we should get this or what? For the house or no? Okay. Yeah, I got that. I gotta look at the glue. I gotta look that up. Okay. Okay, I'm good. Okay, I'm getting back out there. Going back out there. Careful with those paperweights. Don't bounce them around. <laughs> okay, we're on the jewelry and watches. What does that say? It's a Seiko. Hmm. <laughs> that might be of interest. Not sure what that is. But let's ask for some help. And those don't really look very good or fancy or well made. Okay, let's see if we can get some help to get the glass open. Hmm. Okay. Belvedere. Oh. There was just one. I was looking for the pair now. Who's that? Ooh, okay. Let's see if I can quickly find another one of those Belvedere ones. Okay. Because <laughs> we're always missing it. Let me see those things. I'm going to get a thumbnail for the, uh, with the, um, uh, yeah. <clears throat> for the last bit of this trip here, I'm looking for the other, hopefully, the other Belvedere Vodka glass. Could have been broken. comes in a pair, but odds are it didn't survive the trip. Devil egg, whole other thing, can't stand devil eggs. Nice Pyrex. Mixing bowl kind of thing. It's good for pancakes or some cake batter. I might, my dog likes to make cakes, so I might, I might take this. It's good, it's a nice one. It's microwavable. This, then tuck it, then tuck it. Warning. 
candle. Oh, it uh, goes over a candle. Probably has some sort of a base for it. <clears throat> I'm not seeing anything else. I've already made a few passes, so I think we're good with what we got. Lots of heavy items, lots of glassware in here. So we're stacked pretty well here. That's like maybe about $80 for that guy. These guys do okay if you buy them low. They probably sell for around $20-ish. I'm gonna look up the brand though. This glove is actually for a left-hand thrower. Um, so a nice Easton glove, should be about 30 to 40. This brass. I'm getting the eBay insulated cup. Um, oh, I gotta put that Coleman back. We're not getting the Coleman. Oh, it is rechargeable. Hmm. I might just carry it to the front. <laughs> just decide on that later. But with these ones, you really want to look. Uh, the ones from India seem to be mass produced. So you want Taiwan is pretty is older. Taiwan or Japan. I, I don't see a lot of brass coming out of Japan though. Oh, we're getting the Seiko watch. I'm still. I'm gonna double check the model, but I think it's about eighty dollars. So I'll I'll definitely have this in a recap if it comes up to be worth more. All right, let's head on out. Hey everyone, welcome to the end of the video, and I hope you guys enjoyed that trip over to Goodwill. And um, you know, as you can see, the Goodwills in my area are not um, are not slowly dying or dead, uh, depending upon who you're watching out there. But I did want to bring up the Commonwealth Picker, Commonwealth Picker channel, no Commonwealth Flipper channel. I mean the Commonwealth, uh, Kevin, basically. Um, you know, and I want you to kind of respond to that video as far as the slow slow dying a goodwill because i know he has a big following a lot of people are going to watch that and yeah a lot of people aren't necessarily going to do their research and just take that for what it is um and he does a good job of explaining you know that you know it could be different in your area you know reaches out to his uh, fan base uh or his watchers his subscribers to please you know drop comments and you know not a lot of people go through the comments and look through that and look to see that yeah maybe his area isn't that great it is slowly dying or it might be dead um, but yet other areas are not. So you really have to do your homework. You have to do your research and follow up with that. Follow up when you, know, it's totally different where, where, it, you know, where he lives is different from where I live. Completely different. Completely different culture too. Um, and you know, I can't help but, but always referencing, you know, physics and, uh, you know, cause it's something I love. Um, I mean, more specifically particle physics, but, um, uh, so physics you know, in physics, or, you know, we have Albert Einstein. Everybody knows Albert Einstein. We know his theory, uh, theories of relativity, uh, special and general. And, you know, that really, physics is the, um, the study or the attempt to explain, you know, the physical world, everything in the physical world. Okay. And resellers, our physical world is going to good, going to Goodwill's flea markets, um, uh, uh, garage sales and uh you know wherever else you get your merchandise from that's our war that's our world there and so um you know the the relativity is you know can be applied everywhere and not just you know in in the science of physics but uh or space time uh but it so goodwills are different everywhere and as you can see here where i live it's not so the goodwills so when i'm speaking i'm speaking from you know where i live in space it's, i'm not going to be a, a huge physic a physics lecture here but i'm not a very good teacher either I, I i practice more um and i tell my kids you know do uh or i try to teach my kids through action not necessarily through words because i'm not very good at explaining things like everything's in my head yeah i'm very good at having everything in my head but as far as it coming out, it doesn't I, it gets lost? So, um, but uh, like I was saying, so everything is based upon is relative. Everything is relative to where 
you know, we're kind of talking, you know, I'm kind of meshing reselling and <laughs> physics together. <laughs> I mean, well, phys- it, it is, because physics is everything. Is is you know, we're studying the physical world, and this is my physical world. Uh, um, so it's so the Goodwills and my experience with Goodwills is relative to where I live in space and um, space to be more specific space time you, know, you have to say space time you know it, Einstein drew that connection that space and time are kind of one um, and you know kind of the way to prove it is you don't you don't say meet me at 2 30 because then the next question you know you tell somebody meet me at 2 30 the next question is going to be well where and that space so you've given them a time but you haven't given them a place in space um, Starbucks, wherever, where everybody likes to meet at nowadays, especially around my area. Um, and vice versa, you don't say, meet me at Starbucks, because then the next question somebody's going to say, well, when? And that's time. So it always goes hand in hand. Um, so the way I experience Goodwill, the way I experience flea markets, the way I experience um, garage sales, estate sales, is totally different from the way other people do. And, you know, for the sake of the conversation, Kevin Commonwealth Picker, um, I experience it in a totally different, in a totally different way. And in my world over here, where I live in California, not just California, Bay Area, California, not just, you know, Bay Area, but San Jose, California, um, you know, and then even more specific, the area I live in, um, uh, Flea market, I'm um, sorry, uh, estate sales and yard sales, garage sales are dead, in my opinion. Um, that's why I don't really feature them in videos, because it takes one in ten, one in ten garage sales, yard sales, or estate sales to find a good one. It, sometimes it's more than that. Sometimes I'll go out all day and not find a single thing that's even worth it. You know, you get to that point where you're like, ah, i got to buy something, but it's not really where you should be at. Um, which is why, that's why, like I said, like I said already, I'm repeating myself. I, that's why I do not feature those in these videos a lot because there's, they're not, it's just not a, available to me. Uh, product isn't available to me at garage sales, yard sales, and estate sales. And I'm going to be doing a lot of driving around and I don't particularly like that. And I don't have to do that. Because I have a flea market that's really close. I have several Goodwills that are really close. Several thrift stores that are really close. And, you know, I have more Goodwills. If I stretch out my my um, my radius, there's even more Goodwills in the area. More thrift stores. Another flea market. I can go to the bins. I have a bins up north in San Francisco. Well, south San Francisco, I should say. Um, and then I have a bins a little bit south, south of me. And both bins are probably about less than an hour away with no traffic, you know. Um, so I can go either in either direction, north or south. So I'm just in a very fortunate position to not have to rely on yard sales. Also, too, you know, here in California, we don't really experience the, you know, the weather that other people experience. You know, a lot of people get snow, um, really, really cold temperatures. We don't, I mean, it's cold right now. I mean, it's 50 degrees. It's cold <laughs> in California. So, um, but there are still garage sale, everything. Everything happens year-round. Now, you know, one tip I should say about garage sales in my area in San Jose is the best garage sales, yard sales, estate sales are the ones that are unadvertised, the ones that don't post anything online, the ones where the signs are just out there, you know, and you just follow signs. Then I've run into some good ones, but too far and... Uh, too far and... What's the phrase? Too far and few in between. Yeah, too far and few in between. I believe that's the phrase, the appropriate phrase to use for that, um, which is why I don't, I don't like it. <laughs> you know, the constant jump of the car. And plus I get car sick too really easily. I get motion sickness um, relatively easy. So the constant start, stop, start, stop, start, stop, start, stop is, I don't like it. And then a lot of garage sales are clothes, you know, and you guys know I hate clothes. I don't like, I don't like sourcing clothes. I will. If it's cool, <laughs> it's not that much. So I, I have a small, I'm able to hang all my clothes. So all my clothes that is listed on eBay is hung over there in that corner over there in the garage. So I don't have to, you know, put it in bins or anything like that. You know, it's, it's enough to where I can just hang it. So 
But let me know what you guys think down below in the comments. Uh, let me know about Goodwills in your area, flea markets, um, estate sales, yard sales, what you guys like, where you guys like to source at. And based on your area, based on where you live, what is good for you guys? What are you guys finding success at? Now, eBay has really been rocking and rolling. We're really hitting on all cylinders now. Um, things were, you know, a little bit, uh, a little bit slow. Second week in January, first week of January was just like, ooh, we, we were sailing. And then, you know, second week of January, you know, we kind of hit, you know, just a bumpy road. And it's been like that up until about the middle of February. Then things started going back up, 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 up. And now we're up again. Um, and we're doing really well, which means I'm busy, <laughs> really busy. So, uh, you may have seen some of the videos kind of kind of get out a little bit later than normal than I like, but um, I got to get back on the ball on that and make sure I get them out around 12 noon. We are going to feature some what's sold here because we have some great sold uh, items and some unique items as well too. And what I want to show you right now, because you guys hear me talk about not paying attention to sell-through rate. And here's an item right here that if I looked at sell-through rate, it would say not to buy it. It didn't sell for that much. Um, it sold for, what did this sell for, $13? I'll show you right now. I'm gonna show you right now. It was. Uh, I'm gonna put. I'm gonna put. A, uh, I'm gonna put it on the thing. I think it was thirteen dollars, but it is this unicorn. Well, it's actually two unicorn sculptures. It's just a resin sculpture. It's nothing. Nothing really that fancy. Actually, I do got to look at the. Uh, hold on, because I wanted to tell you guys the. Um, I'm not gonna be able to. Even though I'm gonna pop the thing on the screen over here, I'm not gonna be able to see it unless I'm looking at it on my phone. Because uh, I wanted. I wanted show you guys the title structure because it's very important to getting items sold and that's one of the ways that on ebay you can be a good salesman is the way you set up your listing so and one of the biggest things is the title that's the that's what's going to capture people and capture an audience or capture a, a a potential buyer so unicorn figurine sculpture hamilton collection i don't want to drop it because i still i got to send this out Hamilton collection that's on the bottom there. It's kind of got a limited edition type of thing going on. Limited limited edition vibe. Vintage. I didn't put vintage in the title, but you could put vintage. Um, a lot of people use vintage. I mean, I don't think it necessarily would have gotten it sold any quicker than it did. Took about three weeks to sell. Sold, like I said, sold for $13. So unicorn figurine sculpture, Hamilton collection. Okay, so I'm stating exactly what it is what's on the bottom there. Then we're going into my keywords and the keywords are really the trick to try to get it sold because you got to figure out what people are searching for. And, you know, if you don't know what people are looking for items, you know, go on, go on the sold, check sold, see what people are looking at. Now, the sell-through rate, if I'm looking at sell-through rate, if you guys are looking at sell-through rate on these items are very poor. I would I would not recommend buying this item unless you feel confident in selling it. And as a matter of fact, most of these Hamilton or Hamilton collection, yeah, Hamilton collection unicorns are not a buy at all. And I would not have bought. And there were others at the flea market where I found this that I just passed on. This one I did not. And the reason why, because the keywords I used, rainbow dreams, mother, it's kind of cut off, but it, it's daughter. It spells out daughter on there. So mother, daughter, rainbow, dreams, very good keywords to use to get this item sold. A great mother, daughter piece. And really, really, I wanted to hit home with the mother, daughter, Mother's Day is coming up. And unicorns are incredibly popular. Rainbows, I don't know, are rainbows popular? I mean, it's got the rainbow. I mean, I threw it in there too. I could have used glitter. Glitter mm, to me is kind of generic. Um, but unicorns, mother, daughter piece. And when I saw it, when I saw this one specifically, I knew I could get it sold. Um, $13. So we're not, you know, we're not getting rich here on this thing, but I got this in a huge bundle of other items, paid about a dollar for it. Um, so, you know, let's just say a dollar, say $2 into 13. So not bad. Uh, we're going to box this up. We're going to ship this out today and get this to the customer. It is a great piece. The other ones were just just, just unicorns. That's it. 
So the subject matter really does play a part in what I'm going to buy and what I'm going to purchase. The subject matter, can I get it sold? I know I released that video the other day about, you know, I, I saw that Easter train. I really, really strongly considered getting it, but I don't know. I, I just felt like it, it, I wasn't going to be able to get it sold. So we left it behind. But if I have a good, there's glitter, <laughs> I hate glitter. Um, yeah, I can't describe the feeling. I just, I'm like, I know I get that sold. Now, I hope this guy's, this video and what I'm showing you guys helps you, the title structure, the types of items I buy, why I buy them, my explanation as to why I buy them. Um, because we're rocking and rolling with sales all the time. And if you, you know, if you were to see Hamilton Collection Unicorns, I would say stay away from maybe 99% of them. You see something like this, just know now that it has sold in the past and it can sell if you set it up properly, set up your listing properly. Um, obviously there's no chips or cracks or anything on it. You know, it's in great condition. So that too as well. Um, another great item to, to resell, and I've talked about this before, are these uh, Madonna Inn. Madonna Inn is a, um, a hotel here in California. And this is the cups. They're limited edition cups, although they make them all the time. So I don't know how limited edition they are, but they do limited runs, I guess, every year of these of these glass cups. And they kind of have a Fenton, Indiana type of glass. They're not marked with any specific company. They contract with different companies to make these um, glass cups. They're usually larger. The ones I find, uh, here's my hand compared to my hand here, but the ones I usually find are larger goblets. Um, these are tiny. I, I actually never come across the tiny ones before until I came across these. Um, this one took a little bit a little bit longer to sell, and they're very. Just look at the design. It has a very very distinct design. Easy to spot. One, I think I've mentioned this before. Once you see it, you're gonna see it all the time. Like that Nambe. Um, alloy bowls you know once you spot them boom you're going to start seeing them all the time uh 34 dollars and 30 cents on that glass um cup goblet cup another glass piece that just recently sold this one sold okay that glass took a little bit longer that one took a little about two months to sell for that um madonna in glass this took i think i listed this about three or four days ago and this is just a there's no maker I don't know what the maker is, but it's a hand. It's got a, a seam here. It's not really, it's not cracked. It's more just from probably when they pressed it into the mold to shape the glass. It There was probably like a hair in there or something. And the glass it formed around it. So you got that weird seam there. Um, but it's hollow down here. It's just a decor piece, home decor, hand sculptures of body parts do incredibly well i sold a head not too long ago um these hands do incredibly well so this one sold for 30 how much did i source this the madonna in glasses were a little bit high i think those were like seven dollars a glass um this one here we picked up at the Hold on, I'm jogging. Oh, flea market. I got to the flea market and i got this for three dollars the flea market and we sold that for 38 dollars $38 glass hand. Another great piece. I got this in a big old bundle here, so we probably paid about a couple bucks for it. Um, sold for $25. And this, again, this took only about three, I think, just sold, I think I listed this and the hand at the same time. So um, about three days. And these are acrylic and or lucite grapes on wood, driftwood. Sometimes they're on just some a metal string of some kind. I've sold those before. Uh, metal wire, I should say. But um, uh, just know that um, you know when it comes to lucite, lucite is an acrylic. Acrylic is just a broad, uh, you know, there's a lot of acrylics out there. And lucite is just one of those types of acrylics. It's one of the higher end acrylics, which is why it's used in a lot of jewelry and home decor pieces. Um, but uh, this, I don't think this is necessarily lucite, but it is an acrylic. Uh, these ones sell incredibly quickly. Every time I get these grapes, they sell fast. 
the bigger they are, the more you can sell it for. $25 is what they sold for. I priced it a little bit low because it had some issues. Like, I don't know what's... I, I wonder if, like, you know, this maybe has been smacked up against something and it kind of created a white cracking of it of some kind. I don't know. It's not really cracked. Bruised, maybe? This one's definitely cracked. So there were some issues with this, so which one I priced a little bit lower. Um, if there were no issues with it and it was in great condition, I would probably sell this for about $40 to $50. But based on the condition issues, 25 bucks. Not bad either. Now I think it's going somewhere here in California, so the shipping won't be that much. Buyer pays shipping on all these items that I resell. I don't do free shipping. And I don't think you should be doing free shipping because I do offer um, free returns. So if someone returns it, you're on the hook for shipping that way and on the hook for shipping back. And I do recommend offering free returns. Okay. <laughs> this is talking a lot. Um, now, the big, big, big bolo. Now, I always talk about, you know, you get these little, little sales like $13, $20, uh, $38. 30, over $30 is kind of a big, you know, that's a good self selling price, but you know your twenties, your fifteen, your fifteens, your thirteens, um, you know they're kind of low, and you know you really got to sell a lot to make quite a bit. Um, but everything adds up as you start, you know, making more and more sales. Everything starts to add up. But I also look out for those big hits, and you will hear me say in the videos, you know, when I'm a, going into a flea market, going into the Goodwill, we're looking for big hits, we're looking for big hits. And I say that more now because I just have so much stuff I got to process. I mean. I'm working through my death pile back there. I'm working through it, um, and we're getting everything listed. But, um, you know, I'm really just looking for big hits to, you know, kind of add to my store. So that way, whenever I do, you know, I'll get like $10, $20 sales. Then when you get that big hit, that big sale, then it's like, all right, now we're doing really good. We're making some good profit. And that's what we I got did. some Bose headphones. Definitely look out for Bose, the premium name you want to look out for. You want to be cautious when you're buying them, especially used. Uh, the over ear ones, open them up, check it out. A lot of the times, those um, the ear cups are pretty worn out. Um, this is obviously brand new sealed, probably came from a Costco because of the, um, uh, the way it's packaged. Um, but it's an older model, so someone must have had this sitting around. It's not a newer model. I don't think you can find go find this in the store, um, because what it says it says back here like what it's um, compatible with iPhone 6s and you know iPod touches. So sounds a bit older, but it still sells incredibly well, and it sells very high, brand new at two hundred and twenty-five dollars is what we sold this for. Pick this up at Savers. Now, the sticker price at Savers was $69.99. Um, but I had a 20% off coupon, so I got 20% less than that. Uh, so don't be afraid to pay up for items. $69.99, that's a lot. But I sold it for $225. So we're going to make some great profit on this item. Now, also, too, you know... Be uh, cautious with what you're spending for inventory. Make sure because this didn't take this didn't sell like right away. I, I if you look at the comps, you're gonna be like, oh man, it's gonna sell quick. And, you know, I'm gonna get this listed. I'm gonna you know it's gonna sell you know tomorrow. It's gonna sell in an hour. You know it didn't. It took about no, listen. This is about a little over two weeks ago. I think this was like two and a half weeks ago or so. The two and a half weeks is how long it's been sitting for. So just make sure if you're going to spend more, be prepared for the item to sit for a little while. Be prepared for that money to be tied up for a little while. And I would, if I'm going to spend this amount of money, I'm going to be checking out the customer base, seeing what things are looking like as far as um, how many solds there are. I'm going to check out my competition, what my competition look like. But something like a Bose is really... You're pretty much just looking up to see, is it going to be worth it for me to buy it or not? Um, because Bose products sell, and they sell all the time. Kind of like Sony headphones, um, kind of like Apple products. They're always constantly selling. So really, you're just going to try to see what... You're going to look up to see, what can I pay for this item? But um, that's it. That's all the stuff. Those are the solds. Um, hit my talking points. Let me know what you guys think of the video. Um, please like the video if you like it. 
Um, subscribe if you want to continue to see content from me. And hit the bell notification if you do want to get notified when these videos do get released. But we're on a Monday, Wednesday, Friday schedule. A little bit later than 12 noon as of late, but um, I've been having some trouble, you know, getting the copyright stuff done. I've been pretty busy, so um, so I'm going to hopefully get everything back on track and try to stick to that 12, right, 12 noon release schedule. Um, otherwise, we'll catch you guys in the next video.